many things are taken for granted. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the sun that warms us, the opportunity to read a good book, the study of what interests us, and the ability to go where we want, when we want, and connect with our God. But for those who cannot read the prayer book, cannot hear the sermon, cannot walk down an aisle, worship with a welcome community is a longed-for treasure, and it takes strength and courage to pursue that bond, find that home. Guide us with your strength, keep us in your shelter, fill us with the gift of shalom. It is currently estimated that one out of five Americans have some form of disability. And many of those people aren't involved in their faith communities as much as they would like, since they often don't feel encouraged and think that their opinions are unwanted. Their interest in their faith may be strong, but so are barriers to full participation. Being present does not mean being included. Yet the holy texts of our faiths command us to welcome, without hesitation, persons with disabilities. The Torah tells us that each one of us is unique. Each one of us possesses a soul, a spiritual spark. Regardless of what we are on the outside, inside we are the same. The scripture, the New Testament, has a number of episodes of healing in it, so it deals with persons who have disabilities. But what's really interesting, I think, is what Jesus does is to break down social stigmas against those who have been ostracized from society. We find many verses in the Quran that speaks about people with disability, that talks about the quality of human being, regardless of their wealth, their materials. The scriptural traditions are there about the power and uniqueness and the worth of every creation, about the importance of the community and people being part of the people of God, and then about everyone's call, uh, no matter what level of gifts or ability you have. There is a verse in chapter 19 of Leviticus which says, you shall be holy for God is holy, and then goes on to tell you, before the blind, thou shalt not place any obstacles. So right in the earliest texts, there is sensitivity to those around you who are human beings, because after all, we are all created in the image of God. And I have to think that our whole past, the fact that, you know, that we were, we were once outsiders in the land of Egypt. 36 times we're told to have a special regard for people who may not be insiders, they're outsiders. And historically, there have always been barriers.